YP had added him. Y'all guys seen that? That just dropped today, right? That video, right? Yeah, YP says uh, he made a response video. He basically said it should be opinion, right? Not yeah. Don't, don't come to him like it's facts or something, right? Was it? Didn't he also comment in our video as well? That who Brian? He, yeah, that he mentioned. He, I believe he mentioned that we got it all. We got whatever he was trying to express wrong or whatever. I don't know. He was, yeah, I think he was, he basically said what we, what we kind of touched on about the promoting it. He said it wasn't an issue with the action, with the action of it. Okay. To sum, oh, okay. You know, to sum it up. He was like, it ain't got nothing to do with, you know, you having the tattoos. He was just like, just the way, just promoting the whole thing. basically, Or doing it before the show kind of thing. Like promoting, like that's your, that's your pre-game i guess for the show you know what i'm saying like mm. that's that was what he was saying i told him come on just come on the show and talk you. About it. did we dm him we should dm him see if he come on man i know he's dropping um some new music as well uh he seems like a cool brother anyway but yeah uh yp was responding to the whole tattoo thing because yp was saying like yo i, I grew up like you know strict pentecostal and um, he basically was like, you know, I think that we're putting our convictions on other individuals. Yeah. Um, and, you know, there's no scripture or no basis for us to really back and support ourselves. That's facts. Yeah. He said it was um, a gray area, right? It's a gray area. You know, people would say that that's Old Testament, right? And Christians, everything in the Old Testament is <laughs> passed away right <laughs> we no longer under yeah. the law right that's, that's the only scripture that mentions anything about a tattoo and it's a small well and then we we cherry pick right what we want to mm-hmm. what we want to like be uh upset about or, or call uh heathenistic or demonic or whatever worldly whatever you want to call it right we cherry pick because in that same verse that in leviticus that talks about um that talks about uh, uh cutting your skin it ain't even tattoos it's talking about cutting your skin for the dead it also talks about shaving your beard and cutting this you know the hair along the sides of your heads and, he and that's for the dead yeah that's yeah he had a he had a crispy fade at that fight <laughs> yeah, so are but we, that's for are the we dead the law or are we not but that's for the dead as well right the that context yeah it's for the dead the context is for the dead but that's that's the thing about some charismatics is that they don't read scripture in context. You know what I'm saying? Um, it's always yeah. like, kind of like, this is how I feel, or I think the Lord is saying this to me. You know what I'm saying? Um, it's, it's just kind of like, let me just, cause I have, I have a, a Pentecostal background too. Like, Oh, I mean, I'll tell y'all, to- I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't do tats. You know what I mean? I did it yeah. once and yeah, I won't do you it. Yeah, I got one. Why it hurt? Huh? Nah, hurt. nah. It wasn't even about that. It's just, I mean, my family like they're not for the tats. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like that's yeah. their whole thing. So, and that's cool. That's cool. You know what I mean? But like to 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 make that doctrine and impose that on someone else. Yeah. You know that's a different story. You know. But like, to be fair, stuff. that's what Brian was saying. Like I, that he wasn't trying to say that it. It's a sin or anything like that. He was just saying promoting it before a show is his pushback. Like, yo, should we be promoting something else? But it gets sticky, right? Because it's like, what what can you promote? You know, he's saying promote fellowship and prayer, right? But who who's to say? And that's what YP said. Who's to say that they're not fellowshipping and praying right. and right. they're not reading their word or, you know what I'm right. saying? Like. We don't know what's going on behind closed doors. And a matter of fact, like when we talk about prayer and all that, like the Bible says that those things should be private. private. You know what I mean? Yeah. So then what? So he gonna be on Instagram showing that he's praying and reading his word. Yeah. What does that mean? I mean, it'd be a lot of cats that be like that. Like, oh, check I'm praying me out. for the Lord. I'm feeding the sick. I'm baptizing everyone in the name yeah. of Jesus. I'm doing this for Jesus. It's like, oh, okay. I don't judge it, but. I Matter of fact, I've seen some videos like that on uh, Brian's Instagram. Yeah. yeah. Like, no judgment, but, like, if we, you know. Yeah. If that's what we're doing, then that's what we're doing. 
Yeah. You know, but I did I did like I did like YP's response. Um it it is it seemed well thought out. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, and it, it, it seemed like um he was uh it, it, it was genuine, you know, because he yeah. kept saying, like, I'm praying for you, pray for me, you know, this is not a diss or whatever. What I don't remember the words that he said, but basically that's the impression that I got. Um, if you guys haven't checked it out, definitely check it out because I, I thought it was um it was very mature. Mm -hmm. um, he was very careful about the words that he did that he used. Um yeah. So uh yeah, man. I, I don't know what what did what did did you did you see it, Jay? You see LNF said LNF said no that's the best response. Yeah. yeah. Well, I know I know like um YP is YP yeah. had a new video where he's smoking a cigar and he got some oh, wine in there. Yeah. <laughs> yo, yo, yeah, that, that's true. I just saw I just saw LNF's um comment there, the last one. Um, mm -hmm. Brian Trail was very clear. He did say that tats are simple. He said it in one of his songs, uh, Can I Preach? Mm. He said in one of his songs, Can I Preach? Um he said, What did he say? He said it was yeah. a sin. No, yeah, he no. was saying like that. That I don't think you know, I heard that in the song. I think I I heard him say like it wasn't maturity or something like that. No, in the song he said like basically you don't know what type of spirits you're getting when you get a tattoo. Oh, okay. that are that are going into your skin. And I forgot. I gotta look up the actual bar. Oh man! But, but he he said he said something like that where like you don't know what kind of demons or spirits you're getting when you when you get a tattoo. And I was like, all right. Okay. Wow. Yeah, yeah, but yeah, boy P had uh recently did a video and uh yeah. he had a cigar and wine. And he talked about that too in his video. He said he said yeah, that they Dayton approached him about it and that they they had a conversation, they cracked open the Bible, they prayed, and it was all love, you know. Who, who approached him? Dayton. Oh, he did, okay. Yeah, he, he talked about it in the video. Oh, about the cigar thing? Yeah, yeah. He said that he he didn't think that he should have done that. Um, and he talked about it. And so basically he was using that in a, as an example that we should be able to, you know, communicate with one another and kind of build each other up. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Oh, what's this? My man's on it today. I'm I'm on vacation mode. This dude is Who's on that? it. What's this? My man this Jay. This is uh, Brian's uh, Can I Preach Lyrics. Oh. So he says, hey, brother, Br hey, brother Brian, man, what's wrong with getting tats and why can't Christians... Listen, Listen to the world you raps. Hey, where are you at? How is it? How is you mature if you choose things? What's impure? What's impure? Jesus boy, your category is whack. Why you want to put a needle in your skin? You can't even see if all the spirits sneaking in. You humiliate oh. hate yourself when you mutilate yourself. You just do it because you think it's a cool trend. Hey, it's my body and I do what I want. Oh, so, okay. So. Oh, so you see, you're mutilating your skin. You see. But like I said, I, I always there's Christians that I know that feel exactly the same way. You know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah. and, they'll, and they'll tell you that it ain't even got nothing to do with scripture, or none of that. You just feel like the conviction from the spirit is yeah. don't get attacked. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Well, that's their conviction. Yeah, that's uh, exactly. Exactly. And I always look into the whole uh, you know, we gotta remember that our we have we have we have a perspective of how we view life based off mm -hmm. of our output, right? Yeah. Because like slavery in the Bible, right? Like Paul wrote a letter to Philemon, who was a slave owner. You know what I'm saying? Right. Expressing to him about, yo, I, you know, I got this dude that labors with me, accept him back as a brother in Christ. You know, they talked about slavery in the New Testament. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Paul yeah. didn't say, "Oh, it's a sin for you to have slaves," or you know what I mean. He just said, "Yo, if you have, if you're a slave owner, this is how you treat them, and if you're a slave, this is how you should conduct yourself." You know what I'm saying? Right. But now, if we were to have slaves, oh, forget about it. You know what I mean? Us as believers, what you got slave? You know what I mean? But that's also because our mind frame and our point of view of how we looked at slavery and the the. The Let's closest American thing, context, yeah. right? The closest thing to slavery was, uh, you know, uh, what do you call it? The Amer American uh, trade, trade slave, uh, transatlantic, trans yeah, transatlantic slave trade. Like that's our idea of what slavery was. But when you read right. it in its context, it's 
it was like an economical thing, you know what I mean? Like, and you read right. it in, 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 it's in the Torah and stuff like that. So, you know, we just got to be mindful of our perspective of things. Like sometimes we think drinking is wrong because we was in the hood drinking henny and smoking and weed right. and all that. And right. we thought that that was a good time, you know what I'm saying? But that's facts. we got to be careful that we don't impose our own, like, this is a nah for me, but maybe for you, that's a, that's an okay right. for you. You know what I'm saying? But right. this is a nah for me because if I drink, I get to this level. You know so, what I'm saying? Yeah. Some yeah. people drink and they get drunk every time they Great. drink. Yeah. That's facts. That's facts. Like so, me, me personally, I, I truly believe that your body is your temple and that's why I don't eat McDonald's. You know what I'm saying? But a lot of Christians eat McDonald's. A lot of Christians are obese, you know what I'm saying? But that's that's my conviction, you know what I'm saying? So I'm up every day going for a walk and or run or whatever, you know what I'm saying? But I'm not forcing that on anybody. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Sure. I mean, and then John, I think first John says it's not a sin if it's not a transgression against the law, you know what I mean? Against, mm -hmm. against the word. So you just got to be careful with what we impose, you know what I mean? But nonetheless man we pray for unity right i think that YP also, also did a great job of saying yo uh you know i love you brother i would love to chop it up with you you know it wasn't like him trying to add him i nah, mean he added totally. him but it was really on some yo you know you said some things you told homeboy he was wilding like i don't think that that was correct but nonetheless you know what i mean this is my view and let's carry on you know what i mean mm -hmm. how would you respond to something like that switch <laughs> To who? To YP? Like to YP, like if he added you and he did a whole video, like would you respond with a video or you hit him up on the phone and try to try to build with him? Like, what, I always would, would try to chop it up with dudes, you know what I mean? Mm. That's just my thing. Um, I think that's just biblical, like, yo, hit your man on the phone and be like, yeah. yo, it's good. Like, <laughs> right, or even right. a DM, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And if y'all can't agree, get somebody that is a uh, you know wiser yeah. in the faith or someone who could mediate the situation yeah you know what i mean yeah. someone you respect but that's where we at with the internet like we go back and forth right i mean we we pod on certain things and people don't like it you know what i mean and then they come at us or they make a response video and then it's just like oh they okay, thumbs down our video <laughs> a lot of those yeah man but that's where it's at. So yeah, man. Shouts out to Brian Trejo. Shouts out to K uh KMF. Yeah, big move. Shouts out to YP. 